Is there any treatment to get rid of my under eye bags without blepharoplasty? I'm a 25 year old female who has suffered from under eye bags since childhood. Over the last three years, it seems to have gotten worse. There is a large bulge, fat pocket, that is more prominent in my left eye. My bags are only visible when I smile or laugh, so now I try to avoid doing this. I would ideally like the bulges to be even. I was looking into fillers, but my doctor told me that this will eventually cause lumps on sides of my cheeks, creating worse problems in the long run. Is there anything else available? Thank you for your question. You're 25 years old and you state you've had puffy under eyes since childhood and that this problem has gotten worse under the, for the last three years. And you're asking, of course, um, can you have under eye puffiness addressed without blepharoplasty? By the way you wrote your question, it's clear you've done a lot of research and you've learned about the option of doing injectables and, um, and other options, but when it gets down to it, and you're using the term fat pockets, so I won't belabor the anatomy other than to say you, you know exactly what it is. Now, I'm a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon, uh, board certified by the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery, uh, fellowship trained by the American, uh, by a fellowship in, by the American Society of Oculofacial Plastic Surgery in practice over 20 years. So you can certainly rely on my quest to find alternatives to lower eyelid blepharoplasty to help people look their best. I mean, our goal is to help people look the best they can with or without surgery. The reality is you're dealing with a, a hernia, a herniation of fat. And so although there are times when you notice it when you're smiling and you're trying to avoid smiling, which is kind of impractical and likely to be unhealthy, um, but rather it is about dealing with the anatomic reality. The under eye area is puffy. If it's bothering you, if you are, if other people are pointing it out to you, then the lower eyelid blepharoplasty is probably the eyelid, uh, ideal solution. Now, we have dealt with many people who are just like you. And what are the objections to surgery? Well, I looked at all of these, the objections and concerns, and we basically developed in our practice a system to try to meet those objections and help people have these procedures without the, the anxiety. Number one anxiety is the anesthesia. Everyone assumes that you'd be under general anesthesia and it'd be like in a hospital or a surgery center where you're treated like a sick patient. Well, we have our own facilities within our office which are certified by the Joint Commission, the same people that oversee hospitals and surgery centers. And so what we also do is we don't do general anesthesia for lower eyelid blepharoplasty. We do things under local anesthesia with light intravenous sedation. That means we give you enough sedation to reduce anxiety, but you don't have to be, and at the same time, not be under general anesthesia. Now that already takes away a lot of anxiety. If you think about it, when people come to our practice they, and, and then they come back for their surgery, they know everybody. It's, a, it's a not as intimidating and depersonalizing as a hospital, and therefore they are already a lot more comfortable. Um, and I'll tell you that a lot of people who have avoided doing lower eyelid blepharoplasty have said to me after I did it that if I, they used the phrase, if I knew it was this easy, I would have done it sooner. So local anesthesia with sedation, skilled, competent, artistic hands um, for in the surgeon that you are looking at when you start making this decision and doing more research is things that help patients feel comfortable. And this is, the, this is actually in so many ways less involved than coming back over and over to get injectables to try to avoid surgery. People who get injectables under their eyes will have swelling. They can have bruising and bleeding. So it's not like it's, they're avoiding those uh, issues by not doing surgery. So to answer your question, I would say that transconjunctival blepharoplasty is probably the best 
way to treat your under eye puffiness. Do it in a way that you're comfortable by meeting with the, with the doctor who you feel confident in, who does the procedure in the way that is least physically and emotionally stressful for you. Otherwise, you're going to be very frustrated looking for a non-surgical solution. There's a reason why surgeons like myself wear scrubs every day and do surgeries because there aren't non-surgical solutions for surgical problems. It's just that straightforward. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.